Okay, question uh, number five. Uh, this is a question I want you to pay extra attention to because you could see something very similar to this on your on your uh, unit exam and maybe even the finals. So uh, let's go through this. Uh, congenital uh, hypertrichosis, which is also known as werewolf syndrome, is a rare dominant sex link disorder. Okay, so just kind of like question number four. It is dominant. It is on the uh, sex chromosome, so we have to use X's and Y's. Uh, and we can do a legend. We're ready to do that now. So if I have an X with a capital CH, I don't care what this other allele is, this is going to be CH, just abbreviated, male or female. Uh, again, normal is recessive, so I must have two uh, normal XX chromosomes for us to be a normal female and an X with a Y to be a normal male. Okay, so there is our legend. And be careful in questions often, um, like once you're going to encounter for your uh, for your unit exam, they are going to require you to provide a legend. So uh, typical mistakes people or students make is they don't use X's and Y's when it's sex linked, and they forget that in this case CH is dominant to the recessive disorder, uh, to the recessive normal. Um, so um, keep that into consideration when you're doing a question like this. So the second part is a heterozygous CH female mates with a normal male. Indicate the genotype phenotype of the F1 generation. So we underline the parents. If she is uh, a uh, CH, she must have a X with a CH. And because she is heterozygous, she must have, again, hetero meaning different. Her other sex chromosome is just a regular normal X, uh, which is recessive though. Okay, crossed with a normal male. So normal male, just look at our legend. That's why we did it, XY. And we just do our quick Punnett square for a monohybrid and uh, put the female on top, isolate those into gametes or eggs, isolate the male down the side, that's his sperm, and then bring them together, showing the dominant CH allele first. So that's gonna be a CH female. XX is a normal female. And uh, X with a CH and a Y is going to be a CH male. And XY is going to be a normal male. So same thing, we get a one to one to one to one ratio. And uh, I won't fill these in, but one being a CH female, one being a normal female, one being a CH male, and one being a normal male. Okay, let's take a look at B here now. What is the probability of having a normal child? So in this case, it's just a child. It's not a male or a female. So really, just to have a child, unless you're an alien or something, it's one out of one, which doesn't change the answer at all. So we just keep that rate out of it. Uh, without CH from, uh, so just a normal child, uh, without CH from a cross between a hetero mum. So if she's hetero, different, she must have one of these, CH, and just a normal X sex chromosome. So she is gonna have the disorder. Uh, she's crossed with a CH male. So he has the disorder, so he has to have an X with the CH on it and the Y. And we're just gonna do a quick Punnett square on this one and put her across the top, isolate them into eggs, uh, put him down the side, isolate them into sperm, and then now we're just going to bring them together. So XCH, XCH, so that is a CH female. And again, the question is asking for a child without CH. So obviously that's not gonna be one of them. That's gonna be a CH female. X with the CH and a Y, that's gonna be a CH male and an X with a Y, there's our lone normal male. Now, uh, again, because they're not asking for male or female, it's just a child, we take a look at the four box. So there's four boxes. How many of them are normal? One out of four is normal. 
Uh, they want their answer into a percentage, so that's 0 0.25. Multiply that by 100 or move it over to be 25% chance of those two parents having a normal child. Okay, thanks guys. Any issues, just give me an email. Thank you.